have to choose yeah. to lay it aside. Mm -hmm. uh, there is uh, guile that he talks about. Guile, craftiness, cunningness, shrewdness, slyness. Now all of us, all of us have a past life. Mm -hmm. And when we were in the world, many of us had the ability to do certain things. Many of us had the ability to cause people to cry because we knew all kinds of words that were not even a part of, you know, the... <laughs> it came <to> English. <laughs> okay. <laughs> but uh, we laid those things aside. Uh, it's a wonderful thing when we walk into uh, the power of our salvation, Mm -hmm. We don't have to do things that we used to. Mm -hmm. There was a time when you had to mm -hmm. because you were under that power and you did not have the assistance of the Holy Spirit to stop you from doing mm -hmm. things. But now you have the Holy Spirit, the, the Paracletos, walks beside you mm -hmm. to empower you to be able to do things that you have never been able to do before. Mm -hmm. So you can, you can live a life of success because you have help. Yeah. Praise the Lord. You don't have to think the same way. You don't have to speak the same way. Uh, you don't have to act the same way mm -hmm. because uh, we are not in the same conditions. When the condition, when the environment changes, then all of the actions can change also. Right. So God brought us out of darkness. Now think about what was in darkness. Think about all of the uh, the stuff that was in the darkness that we came out of. Mm -hmm. The dark places that we were in. Mm -hmm. Now He has brought us over into His marvelous light, and there's not a reason for us to have to do things the way we did them when we were in the dark. Over here in the light, people are acting like Christians. Mm -hmm. So there's no reason to have to curse anybody out in the church over here in the light. Yeah. <laughs> we don't to do that. Oh. <laughs> we don't have no, to it's... plug out pieces of our mind and give them to them mm -hmm. over here in the light. Mm -hmm. We don't have to uh, plan and plot. Desire for the pure word uh, that we might grow thereby. And in the process, he said, in order for there to be growth, there's some things that we have to leave on the side. And the first thing that the writer says is malice. Now, malice is the intention or the desire to do evil or steal will. The intention or desire to do evil. As children of God, um, we have to uh, mimic our Father. And uh, there's 